Hi, a very good morning. I am Lakshmi Arana Gunta, PGT in Zoology at APMS and Junior College Karavanja and also working as NEET Super 60 Zoology faculty at Dupalwalsa Srikapu. Today, in our respiratory system part 5, we are going to discuss the respiratory volumes and capacities. Okay? The four types of respiratory volumes they are, we are going to discuss are the tidal volume, the inspiratory reserve volume, the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. The first one tidal volume. The volume of air that is inhaled or exhaled during normal breathing is called as tidal volume. Normal breathing, whenever we breathe, we take in some volume of air and we send out some volume of air. That volume, generally that we take in or send out is called as tidal volume. It is nearly 500 ml. On an average, we breathe 12 to 16 times per minute. Means 12 into 500 ml is equal to 6000 milliliters and 16 into 500 is equal to 8000 milliliters. On an average, in a minute of time, we breathe in 6 to 8 liters of air and the same volume we send out that is the tidal volume per minute is 6 to 8 liters okay coming to the next one the inspiratory reserve volume so generally we take in 500 ml of air only okay what we call it as tidal volume but during yoga asanas or during breathing exercises we forcefully take some volume of air some amount of air into our lungs which is called as inspiratory reserve volume the volume of air that can be inhaled during forced breathing in addition to tidal volume you have to keep this word you have to keep in mind this word in addition to tidal volume generally we take in 500 ml of air and in addition to that 500 ml which is called as tidal volume we are taking some more air that air is called as inspiratory reserve volume which is 2500 ml to 3000 ml the inspiratory reserve volume is the maximum volume of air that can be inhaled during forced breathing in addition to the, this tidal volume means we take in first of all we take in 500 ml of air and later forcefully we take in 2500 to 3000 ml of which we call it as the inspiratory reserve volume IRV. TV is 500 ml, IRV is 2500 ml to 3000 ml, okay, which is called as IRV, okay. Coming to the next volume that is expiratory reserve volume. The maximum volume of air that can be exhaled during forced breathing, during forced breathing in addition to tidal volume. Forced breathing means we send out 500 ml of air which we call it as tidal volume. In addition to that, forcefully we can send out some more air, air some more air what we call it as the expiratory reserve volume which is 1000 to 1100 ml only. Okay, inspiratory reserve volume it is 2500 to 3000 ml. But this expiratory reserve volume it is only 1000 to 1100 ml as it is more difficult sending out the air forcefully okay even though we send out forcefully this uh, expiratory reserve volume still some volume of air is left inside the lungs which we call it as the residual volume the volume of air remaining in the lungs even after forced expiration is called as residual volume generally we send out 500 ml of air that is tidal volume in addition to that one we send out some more air with our forced expression which accounts for 1000 to 1100 ml okay even after forced expression this volume of air is left inside which is called as the residual volume okay this residual volume it is 1100 to 1200 ml whereas the expiratory reserve volume is 1000 to 1100 ml okay that one is 1000 to 1100 and this one is 1100 to 1200 ml okay coming to the next one the respiratory capacities the first one is inspiratory capacity and the second one functional residual capacity 
the third one vital capacity and the last one total lung capacity let us discuss all these things one by one the inspiratory capacity the name itself indicates inspiratory capacity means the volume of air that we can inhale after normal expiration we can what we can inhale that we have already exhaled that is 500 ml tidal volume and in addition we forcefully inhale 2500 to 3000 ml which is called as the inspiratory reserve volume they together called as inspiratory capacity which is 3000 to 3500 ml this inspiratory capacity is obtained by adding the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume that is the ic is equal to tidal volume first of all we take in tidal volume okay later we take in the inspiratory reserve volume that's why tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume together execute the inspiratory capacity this tidal volume is 500 ml whereas the inspiratory reserve volume is 2500 to 3000 they together constitute the inspiratory capacity which accounts for 3000 to 3500 ml okay and coming to the next capacity the functional residual capacity functional when the lungs are functional some amount of air is there inside the lungs this air is called as the functional residual capacity means the volume of air remains inside the lungs after normal expiration is called as functional residual capacity which accounts for 2100 to 2300 ml functional residual capacity constitute the residual volume even after forced expiration also some, some volume of air is left inside the lungs that is called as residual volume it is 1100 to 1200 ml okay and the expiratory reserve volume is also there which is uh, 1000 to 1100 ml these together they constitute the functional residual capacity the functional residual capacity is the sum of residual volume and expiratory reserve volume this residual volume is 1100 to 1200 ml and the expiratory reserve volume is 1000 to 1100 ml adding the lower values and upper values we will get the range okay that's why 1100 ml plus 1000 ml equal to 2100 ml and the upper values are 1200 ml and 1100 ml together 2300 ml that means the volume of air that remains in the lungs when the lungs are functional after the normal expiration is 2100 to 2000 300 ml which we call it as the functional residual capacity okay and coming to the third capacity the vital capacity very much most important capacity the maximum volume of air a person can breathe in after forced expiration is called as vital capacity this vital capacity is 4000 to 4600 ml okay this vital capacity it constitute the ERV plus TV plus IRV. First of all, when we forcefully breathe out, we have to take that air first, that is expiratory reserve volume. Okay. Later, we have to take the tidal volume. And later, we have to take the inspiratory reserve volume, that is forcefully drawn inside. Okay. And these all together constitute the vital capacity. The ERV, expiratory reserve volume, the what we can forcefully send out is 1000 to 1100 ml and the tidal volume that also we have to take that is 500 ml so air is reached the lungs after that we have to forcefully take take in air that is called as the IRV which constitute 2500 to 3000 ml and all these together constitute the vital capacity which is 4000 to 4600 ml you have to add all these lower values and also we have to add the upper values then we get 4000 to 4600 ml which is called as the vital capacity the most important capacity okay if the vital capacity is below these values it indicates that the lungs they are not functioning properly okay 
Coming to the next one, the total lung capacity. The name itself indicates the total lung capacity. What is the capacity of our lung? Means what volume, what amount of air that can be accommodated is called as the total lung capacity. Okay, it is 5100 to 5800 ml. Okay, means it includes the tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and also the residual volume. Okay, means the total lung capacity includes the vital capacity and the residual volume. Vital capacity we have already discussed earlier. It includes the expiratory reserve volume, tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume. All these three they are included in vital capacity. Vital capacity it does not include the residual volume and this total lung capacity it includes the vital capacity along with the residual volume which is called as the total lung capacity which accounts for 5100 to 5800 ml. This total lung capacity it includes the vital capacity what we have discussed earlier it is 4000 to 4600 ml and also the residual volume which accounts for 1100 to 1200 the sum of these two is the total lung capacity okay which is 5100 to 5800 ml okay the total lung capacity it includes the tidal volume the inspiratory reserve volume the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume okay these are all the different types of lung capacities and in addition to all these, there is anatomical dead space uh, which accounts for 150 milliliters uh, which is left unchanged in the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles. Uh, this 150 ml is it is exhaled unchanged. Okay, thank you for watching. Follow me on YouTube simply by typing Lakshmi Narayana Gunda and don't forget to write the online exam which I have provided a link in the description box. Thank you.